you, as you notice, we are changing the product name. Uh, it's pretty much the same product, just a newer version, but we decided to change the product name for different reasons. First, you notice that we removed the HMI uh, suffix from, from the name, and that's because HMI became too narrow for what the product offers, right? Aviva Edge is pretty much a software for data communication, data manipulation, and data presentation. It can be used as a traditional HMI. It can, can be used as a traditional SCADA, but can be used in different use cases as well. Could be used as a communication gateway between local devices and the cloud. Could be used as a protocol converter from different devices with different protocols uh, on-premise. And could combine all this information, could be at the same time an HMI and also a gateway between uh, instrumentation control and cloud systems. So could be used as the ETL, could be read information from different files, databases, devices, manipulating this data, making calculations, and publishing this information to databases, to the cloud, to different systems. So it's much more than just a uh, traditional HMI software. It's a complete set of tools in an easy to use configuration for data communication, data manipulation, and data presentation. Having said that, we changed the name not only of the product, but also the runtime editions available in Aviva Edge. As possibly many of you know, one of the main value propositions for Aviva Edge is the fact that we have one single development environment, which now we call Aviva Edge Studio, which runs <clears throat> pretty much on any Windows operating system, Windows 10, Windows Server 2016, 2019, 32 or 64-bits. Uh, and it allows you to create applications that then can be deployed across different operating systems for different reasons. So the same development environment is can be used to create applications for Windows, Windows IoT, Windows CE, or even Linux. Same tools, same applications, same interfaces. So the runtime for Windows, Windows Desktop, Windows Server, like Windows 10, 2016 Server, 2019 Server, is called Aviva Edge SCADA. And it scales from 150 tags to pretty much unlimited. The runtime for Windows IoT is called Aviva Edge Embedded HMI, and this is suitable for embedded industrial panels running Windows IoT or Windows Embedded 7 or 8. Uh, Aviva Edge Compact HMI runs on Windows Embedded Compact, formerly known as Windows CE, is an extremely cost-effective solution for embedded HMIs running uh, Windows CE. And finally, last but not least, uh, Aviva Edge IoT View is our runtime for Linux. And that's the product that is evolving faster in functionality. And also we're seeing great demand for customers, especially in large IoT, large, medium or small IoT architectures, where they want some distributed devices, usually in high volume, to collect data from machines, devices, equipment locally, and then manipulate this data, filter this information, aggregate this information, and push the data to either a control room running system platform and or directly to the cloud. So the new nomenclature, for, for, for some of you that knew the old one, the runtime for Windows used to be called full runtime. The new name is Aviva Edge SCADA. For Windows IoT, used to be Embedded View. The new name is Aviva Edge Embedded HMI. For Windows CE, used to be C View. The new name is Aviva Edge Compact HMI. And for Linux, used to be IoT View. The new name is Aviva Edge IoT View. Again, newer version of products that we already had uh, in the past, but more functional names and aligned with the overall portfolio nomenclature. Something else that's very excited as well, uh, in Aviva Edge 2020, we have provided a much wider range of flexibility and options on license levels. Uh, two reasons, one, to become more competitive. Uh, and a second one is, as you probably know, uh, another product uh, called Indusoft Web Studio, which is pretty much provides the same functionality as Aviva Edge, but with a different brand. Uh, has been sold in the market with the brand in the Software Studio for 
20 years plus, uh, has a market uh, annual sales in revenue uh, close to 40 million uh, for end user values. And uh, during this fiscal year, uh, our mission is to start transferring uh, all this revenue from Indosoft Web Studio to Aviva Edge. So it's a great opportunity for distributors to, to get this revenue from the well-established uh, customers using the software studio we have a plan to pretty much migrate uh, those customers from in the software studio to aviva edge and in order to do that in a very smooth and transparent way to the customers uh, we made number one any projects developed in the software studio are automatically compatible with aviva edge uh, and when customers upgrade their licenses from an older version of in the software studio to Aviva Edge 2020, the new license levels for Aviva Edge match exactly the license levels that have been available to Windows Software Studio. So it's very simple. You don't have to make conversions from uh, different tag levels of Windows Soft to new tag levels from Aviva Edge. They are the same tag levels. So customers that were using, for instance, in the Software Studio uh, with 16,000 tags, they can migrate the project to Aviva Edge 16,000 tags. It's just a simple version upgrade. You don't have to make any uh, analysis or calculations to find out what's the different Aviva Edge level to, to upgrade to. So just to look the, the old model to the new model, for Windows, uh, what you used to call Windows uh, full runtime, we had licenses for 500, 1,000, 3,000, 60,000 and unlimited. And for embedded runtimes, what used to be called embedded view, C view, and IoT view, we have licenses for 100, 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 tags. In the new model, <clears throat> the runtimes for Windows uh, give you way more granularity uh, from 150 tags, 300, 1,500, 4,000, 16,000, 32,000, 64,000, 512,000, and unlimited. And for Embedded HMI, Compact View, and IoT View, you have 150 tags, 300 tags, 1,500, 4,000, and even unlimited uh, for IoT View, available on subscription only, available through Aviva Flex. And a, a, a great motivation, even for Aviva Edge customers to upgrade to Aviva Edge 2020, is that when they upgrade from an old Aviva Edge product to uh, from old in touch Edge HMI or in touch machine edition to Aviva Edge, uh, they will get some extra tags uh, at no additional cost, paying just the version upgrade, which is 50% of the license uh, cost, or zero if they are under customer first. So, for instance, if they had a license for 60,000 tags, now when they upgrade to the newer version, they will have 64,000 tags. If they had a license for 3,000 tags, and upgrade to Aviva Edge, now they will have 4,000 tags. If they had a license for 1,000 tags in Aviva Edge 2020, they will have 1,500 tags, and so on and so forth. So many reasons, many motivations uh, to upgrade from Aviv older versions of InTouch Machine Edition and also older versions of the Software Web Studio to Aviva Edge, in addition to the technical benefits and additional features that we see uh, moving on here. So one of the main changes in 2020 is a new modern updated development environment. So see a, a screenshot here of the new development environment. I can switch here to, uh, I'm using here by the way, Integration Studio, where I created a, a virtual machine and in Integration Studio I installed Aviva Edge 2020. If you see here in the help, this is still the release candidate version of Aviva Edge 2020. Uh, should be releasing in about two weeks. And you see that the look and feel of the development environment is modernized following the Office 2019 look and feel by default. So different uh, and intuitive interfaces, 
uh, many shortcuts to to increase productivity, to rename screens, uh, save as HTML, different options in the pop-up menu that didn't exist. Uh, we also changed the nomenclature of many modules here to be consistent with other modules, other products in the portfolio, like what used to be called database files, now the watch window. Uh, you have the option of themes as well. So if you want if you come here to style, you can very easily change your themes to, for instance, carbon. Uh, as you see here in, in style, we have several different themes, Visual Studio, Office, and so on. Uh, you, you can go to Windows Scenic. So you can keep changing the, the look and feel or restore the default to the default look and feel. And all the iconography, uh, all the interfaces, the dialogues were not only modernized, but we stay, spent a fair amount of time to make them more productive as well, minimizing the number of clicks and improving the intuit how intuitive the product is and the performance as well during the runtime to make more productive and easier and faster for new customers to learn the product and existing customers to create their projects in Aviva Edge. Uh, all the iconography is, is updated, modern, and compatible and consistent with the, the similar kind of iconography and look and feel that we'll see in other products from monitoring control moving forward. So, this was uh, one enhancement. Another one that's probably the most exciting one for this version is the native support for industrial graphics, formerly known as uh, Arquesta Graphics, in Aviva Edge. So the same graphical editor that you use in System Platform or even uh, Standard uh, InTouch is now available in Aviva Edge, compatible for with uh, Aviva Edge SCADA for Windows in this version. Eventually, future versions should be available in the other runtime editions as well, including Linux. It is in our roadmap. But in this first version, is available for Aviva Edge SCADA runtimes and available for mobile access thin clients as well. Our thin clients based on HTML5. So again, if I come here to the uh, beta release candidate version of Aviva Edge 2020. Uh, when you create a new screen, right click here on the screen folders, you still have the option to insert screens using the native editor from Aviva Edge. So this is the, let's say, old or legacy or native editor from Aviva Edge. It is still fully supported here for backward compatibility for customers to create support and create applications in the native editor. But when you create a new screen, now you have the option to insert a screen in the industrial graphics format. And if you do that, as you see here, it will launch and show the standard industrial graphics editor, the same standard editor that you use in system platform, in touch, different products in the portfolio. So you can create your screens, uh, you can uh, fill in the blanks, you can uh, import uh, graphics, from the libraries. So previously here, I imported the library for uh, orchestra and for uh, situational awareness. Uh, so you can bring different uh, objects, you can bring uh, different symbols to the screen. And then as you save it, <coughs> it just updates the screen. And you have this screen just like any other screen on your project. So it's saved here, as you see, with a different icon as a screen one, and then you can rename with any name you want, like my screen, and use it as any other screen available in the product. Also, if you come down here, industrial, you still have the native symbols in the old format, but now you have also uh, industrial graphic symbol and you can create new symbols or import libraries, as I mentioned before, the Orchestra Library or the Situation Awareness Library in Aviva Edge 2020. So, like I mentioned, very excited with that. It will allow us to reuse components from symbols from uh, created in Aviva Edge with System Platform, created in System Platform in Aviva Edge, and provide much more flexibility and productivity to our customers when they use uh, 
products from our portfolio, both on the control room and on the asset level. 